Hello, this is Soloturnus here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to start up the F16 Viper. This tutorial won't be click here and there and off you go. Instead, we will dig deep in order to give you an idea of why you're doing the things you're doing. So, let's get started. Let's start by closing the canopy by holding left Control c After the canopy's motor disengage, we secure it by putting down the canopy's handle with the left mouse button. Then we set the main power switch to battery with the right mouse button. Holding the right mouse button to set the flickest power test switch to test. Four power lights next to the switch should illuminate. This verifies operation of the flight control computer with the aircraft battery as power source. Set the main power switch to main power. Then, to start the engine, we put the GFS switch to start to with the left mouse button. The GFS starter switch is set either to start 1 or 2. This refers to the number of the compressed air bottles used to start the GFS. Normally, one should be sufficient, having you the other one in case you need to attempt second start. But you may need to use two on hot days or high altitude to generate enough air pressure to spin the GFS. Once the RPM reaches 20%, we move the throttle from off to idle position by pressing right shift home. And we will wait till it reaches 60%. The GFS switch should have automatically shut down at approximately 55%. Then the standby generator comes online at 60% RPM. 5 to, two to 10 seconds prior to that, the main generator come online. So now all we have to do is to bring the aircraft systems online. To do so, it's easier if you create a flow from the right all the way to the left. Since we are going to start with the avionics power panel. Let's start with the MMC switch to MMC. The modular machine computer enhances computing power to the aircraft's avionics and weapon system. The ST-STA switch to ST-STA. This gives power to the store stations. The MFD switch to MFD. This power the two MFDs. The UFC switch to UFC. This power our ICP and DPD. The GPS switch to GPS, the data link switch to data link, the MED LVT knob to ON, the multifunctional information distribution is the communication component of the Wing 16. F16 uses the MED LVT1, which includes data link, voice, and TACA, so you won't be able to use TACA if this knob is set to OFF. Then, we set the INS knob to NOR, which allows the INS to be fully aligned and enhances it to 0.6 times normal precision with the GPS data or another techniques. And this will take about 5 minutes. If you have a limited playtime or on your scramble mission, you can use the stored heading alignment. It only takes 90 seconds to align the INS, but it's not accurate as the norm one. Now, let's move to the sensor power panel. We set the radial altimeter switch to radial altimeter, the FCR switch to FCR, the 
right HDPT switch to HDPT if we have the targeting port. This one is not usable for now until we have the targeting port for the uh, arm. And now let's engage our SCI by rotating the knob until the jet's symbol aligns on the horizon. Let's turn on our hat. The landing taxi light switch to taxi. The CMDS knob to bypass. This is the mod that I like. With uh, one press, you only uh, dispense one flare by chaff. We activate our flares, chaff, jammer on, WR on, and then we power our FWR. Next, we set the master IFF knob to norm and our master lightning to norm. And set right to the wing, right to the fuselage. In my opinion, the hut is cluttered. So, I go to the hut scale switch and switch to off with a left click on the mouse. And as you can see here, it's much, much better now. All we have to do is to wait for the INS to be fully aligned. We can use this time to set up your avionics system for a mission, like SMS page, profiles, bingo fuel settings, radio presets, etc. As you can see here, the INS is fully aligned. So we switch to the INS knob from norm to nav. And then we activate our nose wheel steering by pressing S and we are ready to taxi. Now I'm going to show you how to make full startup with the stored heading alignment. You will notice that it won't take more than 4 minutes.
And that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe. See you next time.